Hello everyone, Sevi here with a quick tutorial for the new Affliction Trinket Calculator 7.25. First off, this is a read-only uh, file, so you'll need to go to File and make a copy, and you can name it whatever you'd like. I've gone ahead and done that right here, and so now we're ready to roll. Uh, first off, uh, this Trinket Calculator is a tool that is not meant to replace simming your own character. Uh, so why exactly do we have it? Well, first off, it is an easier way to read all of the sims that have been run all in one place. It also compares uh, two trinkets so that you're not having to sim all the combinations of all of your trinkets in order to figure out which ones you want to sim. Um, this also provides a faster way to ballpark trinkets when you don't have the time that very moment to sim, so like mid-raid, that type of thing. This also provides additional information that is not found on my pretty charts. So you'll notice that the eye levels here do go from 860 all the way to 955. Um, if you look at the pretty charts, the pretty charts are only um, be, they're only given every 10 eye levels for information as to not overwhelm the chart. Um, so you can see that the pretty charts are covering information from 885 to 955. And then, of course, there's Kill Jaden's Burning Wish. So, how are you going to use the calculator? Well, if I go back to the calculator, first thing you need to do is use the drop down menus. So, you can select the number of targets. Um, then we're going to go to our current trinket. We're going to select the name of the trinket. We're going to select the eye level. Then I'm going to go over here to the name for my comparison trinket and select its name and its eye level. You'll see that any time that you are selecting those, these will be updated for your current DPS and comparison DPS. Um, it will calculate a percent and determine which is the better trinket. Again, if they are close, I highly suggest that you do sim it with your gear to determine it if it's an upgrade for you. Um, some other extra information about this calculator is if you go to the math tab, I know it looks kind of scary with a bunch of numbers on it, but this is actually all the data that's been pulled directly from the sim data that's been given to me and it's compiled all in one place. So this might be a little bit easier for you to read. Um, the other thing is this data um, is going to be updated whenever changes are made to a spec to make sure they keep the information relevant. And you can see the date the sims uh, were run down here in the lower right hand corner um, and the day that I updated it for the calculator right here. Um, you can also see that on the pretty graphs in the lower right hand corner so you know that you are getting the right information at the right time. I hope this helps and enjoy.